Hello everybody. We have looked at the different ways that we can start stories. We've looked at once upon a time and how it's not really the most exciting way to start our stories. When we're looking at the different ways that we can start our stories, the different story starters, the different ways that we can make them exciting, we have onomatopoeia, action and dialogue. So today we're looking at how to get rid of once upon a time and how to introduce our story in a new and exciting way. The first option that we're looking at today is onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia is a word that's hard to spell, but it's very easy to describe. Onomatopoeia are all of the words that are sounds. We might see onomatopoeia in, a, in different settings. When we read comic books, they're the large bang, pop, pow, crash, all of the different sounds that we might not be able to hear when we're reading, but we know what sound is made when we're reading it. So today, while we're looking at onomatopoeia, I would like everyone in your workbooks to write five different onomatopoeia sounds. Five different sound effects with a little um, drawing around it, showcasing the sound effect. If it's a pop, a little popped bubble around it. Bang, however you hear that sound drawn, I want, to, I want to see that in your workbooks. I'd like you to pause this video right here while you're finishing up your five drawings. Now hopefully you've paused the video and you've just come back after you've done your five drawings. You've got your five options, whether that's bang, pop, kapow, crash, kab kabuya, whatever that might be. The fist bump, slap, whatever your five sounds were, now we're gonna try and turn them into our own short stories. When we look at the reading books, sometimes the way it starts isn't altogether too exciting. We sit down and we see once upon a time, there was a princess and the princess lived in a big castle. Not altogether interesting, but if we're reading our story and it's bang, the cannonball broke through the castle wall, it suddenly makes it a little bit more interesting. And we need to look at how we can catch that reader's attention right in the beginning. So using your five story starters, I want to see the first paragraph of three different stories. One paragraph. Three stories. Altogether, that means you've written three paragraphs all together. They're not all connected, they're all separate. This is a way for you to practice using your story starters, a way for you to get your ideas out there, to see which ones work and to see which ones don't. In the next lesson, when we're looking at action, we're going to come in and tie one of these stories to the new idea and make it bigger, develop it a little bit. So in your workbooks, one paragraph on one of your story starters, then the second paragraph on another one of your onomatopoeia story starters, then a third paragraph on the third one. All taking three different stories. Try and make them as different as you can. The more different they are, the better it is for you. Onomatopoeia, words that are sounds.